Welcome to this lecture about different distance metrics in space that are commonly used in multivariate statistics. In this video we will discuss the Euclidean distance and the Mahalanubis distance and how we can use the Mahalanubis distance to identify outliers in the multivariate space. The Euclidean distance is used to calculate the distance between two points in space. For example, we might want to calculate the distance between these two points in a two-dimensional space. The general equation for the Euclidean distance looks like this. We can use it to calculate the distance between two points in n dimensions. For example, if we like to calculate the distance between two points in a two-dimensional plane, the equation can be simplified to this, where we square the difference in the x-coordinates between the two points, and add that to the square difference between the corresponding y-coordinates. Let's use this equation to calculate the Euclidean distance between the two points. We plug in the x-coordinates of the two points, which are 2 and 3. And the y coordinates, which are 2 and 4. If we do the math, we see that the Euclidean distance between the two points is the square root of 5, which is approximately equal to 2.2. The Euclidean distance in two dimensions can be seen as applying the Pythagoras theorem to a right triangle. We know that the length of this side is 1, and that this side of the triangle is 2, because the difference between the y-coordinates of the two points is 2. The length of this side of the triangle is therefore the square root of 5. We'll now discuss the Mahalanubis distance. However, before we look at the Mahalanubis distance, we need to understand what a centroid is. A centroid, or a mean vector, is the mean position of all data points in all directions. As an example, let's calculate a centroid for the following data. The x-coordinates for these four data points are 2, 2, 3 and 5. The mean of these x-coordinates is equal to 3. And the corresponding y-coordinates of these four data points are 2, 4, 2 and 4. The mean of these y-coordinates is also equal to 3. We can now define our centroid as the following mean vector. We can plot our centroid as a dot with the x and y coordinates of 3. We'll now have a look at the Mahalanubis distance. The Mahalanubis distance is a distance measure between a point and a distribution. The Mahalanubis distance takes into account the correlation between the variables. Let's have a look at the following data. The centroid for this data has an x-coordinate of 3.1 and a y-coordinate of 3.0. Let's add two data points to this plot and calculate how far away these are from the centroid. We see that the Euclidean distance between the centroid and data point 1 is 2.76. And the Euclidean distance between the centroid and data point 2 is also 2.76. Based on the Euclidean distance, we can conclude that the two data points have exactly the same distance to the centroid. However, if we put an ellipse around the data, we see that the data point 1 is much closer to the ellipse than data point 2. Data point 2 does not seem to be part of the cloud of the data points around the centroid. 
If we would calculate the Mahalanubis distance between data point 1 and the centroid, we would get a distance of 2.26. Whereas the Mahalanubis distance between the centroid and data point 2 is 6.45. The reason why the distances are so different is because the Mahalanubis distance takes into account the correlation in the data. The general formula for the Mahalanubis distance looks like this. Where x is a vector of the coordinates of the data point. Mu is the mean vector or centroid and s to the power of minus 1 is the inverse of the covariance matrix. For our example, we can define the Mahalanubis distance like this for our example data. Where x and y are the coordinates of the data point, and x bar and y bar are the coordinates of the centroid. The following covariance matrix was computed based on the green data points in the plot. And this is the inverse of that covariance matrix. Let's use the equation to calculate the Mahalanubis distance between data point 1 and the centroid. We plug in the coordinates for data point 1 and the coordinates for the centroid. And we plug in the inverse of the covariance matrix. After subtracting the centroid from the coordinates of the data point, we have the following vectors. Next we transpose this vector, so that we get a row vector instead. If we multiply the row vector by the inverse of the covariance matrix, we get the following row vector. And if we multiply these two vectors, we get the number 5.12. The square root of this number is about 2.26 which is the Mahalanubis distance between data point 1 and the centroid. We'll now see how we can define an error ellipse around our data based on the Mahalanubis distance, similar to when we show error bars that correspond to the standard deviation in a univariate case, we can generate an error ellipse in a two-dimensional plot. If we generate a 95% error ellipse, we expect that 95% of the data points are included inside the ellipse given that the data is multivariate normally distributed. In our example, we see that 1 out of the 20 data points are outside this ellipse, which is what we would expect since 5% of 20 is 1. This ellipse can be calculated based on the assumption that the data is multivariate normally distributed. The squared Mahalanubis distance should then follow a chi-square distribution with p degrees of freedom. The degrees of freedom in our example is equal to 2 since we analyze two variables. The critical value that covers 95% of the left-hand side of the chi-square distribution with two degrees of freedom is 5.99. Thus, our squared Mahalanubis distance should be equal to 5.99. The Mahalanubis distance for our error ellipse is therefore 2.45. This means that the Mahalanubis distance between our centroid and any point on this ellipse is 2.45. We can use the Mahalanubis distance to identify outliers in the multivariate space. One common cutoff value to identify an outlier is the value 0.001. The corresponding critical value in a chi-square distribution with two degrees of freedom is 13.82.
This critical value corresponds to a Malanubis distance of about 3.72. We can now put an ellipse around the data that corresponds to a 99.9% .9 error ellipse. The Malanubis distance between the ellipse and the centroid is here 3.72. If we assume that the data follows a multivariate normal distribution, the probability that the data point, just by chance, is outside this ellipse is 0.1%. Since this data point is outside the ellipse, we will consider it as an outlier. However, the cutoff we have used in this example is not appropriate if we have many data points. For example, if we have 1000 data points, we would expect to identify one data point outside this ellipse just by chance. This was the end of this lecture about the Euclidean distance and the Mahalanubis distance.